What's up guys and welcome back to another video. This is Danny Plays and we're back in the how to build a village world. Why? Well, you might think. I mean, actually you read the title so never mind. But I know I didn't do the part 2 for how to build a village, but we're getting to that. But uh I was having a little trouble thinking about how to explain it cuz you know all the fine detailing and I mean it would be kind of boring to just watch me. So uh I was trying to think of how to describe it. And I kind of couldn't. And uh, so we're moving to step three and then going back to step two. And step three is building the castle. So we're going to go straight to building the castle. And hopefully that's going to be kind of fun. Really fun. I'm going to enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do enjoy it, I have a goal. I wanted to get 100 subs before or by New Year's. Well, New Year's is in like less than a week. And uh, I have 83. So I need 17 subscribers. So, there's also kind of a, another secret reason I'm doing this video. I feel like it'll do good in the algorithm. I feel like a decent more amount of people are searching how to build a castle than how to build a village. But, uh... Yeah, if you end up liking this content, uh, please do. Either like, and uh, I hope someone else finds the video that likes it enough to subscribe. Or if you like it enough yourself, maybe subscribe. And I will get that village part two. I will. Believe me. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I finished the houses. Okay, anyway, let's get straight into it. So, three, two, one. Time lapse with voice over time. Okay, now I'm actually gonna start talking about how to build a castle. Now, this castle is not your tradition. The castle I have in mind is not a traditional medieval castle. So, I'm gonna have to be a bit more generic with my instructions rather than a block by a block tutorial. You guys would rather have a block by block tutorial on how to build a castle, I'll do another one of these with a more classic, smaller medieval castle. Because the one I build today is pretty big, but it follows the basic rules of how to build a mega structure, which is what most castles are. So, first, as you can see, I'm laying out the red wall like I did with the village, if you watched my village video. And this red wall represents the first step. There's going to be three steps. And multiple phases in each step. I believe there's like three phases for this one. But the first step is planning. Now, I only recently started doing this. But something that can really help when you're building big structures is to make a wall outline. So, building up a wall outline with the basic uh, dimensions can really help. And I'm about to cut in here once... Phase one of step three steps is ready, so I'll be back with the time lapse in one second. Okay, phase one of step one complete. Now, if you wonder what I mean by that, I'm sure I've already explained this in the uh, what's it called? Time in the voiceover. I'm sure I already explained this, but just in case, I plan to build this castle, or I guess it's kind of more of a palace. There's a slight difference. I don't really know what it is. But... Anyway... Uh, in the case of building this castle, I'm gonna take the planning phase, which is step one, and I'm going to build it in four... kind of phases of step one. So, you know, this is the bottom phase, then we're gonna have a second phase held up by pillars, and then we're going to have a third phase, which is going to rest on top of those pillars. And then the fourth phase, which is going to be the very top. So, just wanted to give that quick little update, and let's get right back to it. Okay, so now, here's another thing. You want a lot of variation in castles. What I mean by this is, you want them to be tall, so that people see them, but you don't want them to just kind of blend together. You want there to be variation, so as you can see, it gets smaller as it gets up, which draws your eyes towards the center point. Now, if you're doing separate towers instead of just one building for the castle, which admittedly most have towers, this one doesn't, 
but in this situation, I'm trying to draw your eyes towards the center by get, making it smaller, get smaller as it goes towards the center. But that's something you really want to do with castles, and a lot of support too. Like, you want them to look like sturdy structures, which, admittedly, this one probably looks a bit more wobbly than most should, but it's there. So, as you can see, I'm just getting the basic shape. This is really important for the planning stage. You don't want any detail, fine detail whatsoever, because you want it to be really easy to change if you don't end up liking it. You want it to be like, a few clicks and you're done. So this is just the basic shapes. Like this isn't gonna look very good. Right now I've got boxes on top of boxes on top of boxes. But once I get to the building phase, which is phase two, these will start to take shape. Also, this right here is crazy. This is unrelated to the tutorial. But I think that steampunk village videos I did have made me really good at circles, because I did this circle on, I, it was like my second try, and I somehow made it work perfectly, and it looks great. So I like that. But that's another thing with castles. You don't want a castle to just be a square. There's a lot of castles that are just kind of squares, and they don't look good. You want to mix up the shapes. You want to have... Some parts of the castle with domed roofs, roofs, some with pointed roofs, some with sloped roofs. Okay guys, we're done with stage two of step one. Yeah, and this is a uh, three-step process. And stage one is taking a very long time. And believe it or not, pretty sure stage one is the shortest. Actually, stage two might be the shortest. If I haven't already gone over this, stage one is planning, stage two is uh, building, and stage three is detailing. So, uh, mega structures take a long time, but time to get to the point. St stage two is done. So now we're on the stage three. Which, stage three, is where basically, we've got a decent amount already. We're going to have an inner circle, or maybe, nah. Okay, we're going to do a square, just kind of an inner square. In fact, I think I'll do that now just to kind of demonstrate what I mean. We're going to have a square like this. And that square is going to kind of, you know, end up being a cube. And it's going to go up probably seven, because I've been doing this mostly in increments of seven. So it's probably going to go up seven. And then, you know, once it goes up, we're going to add another pillar section on top with a, another circle and do a domed roof to finish it kind of all off. And you know, I'm liking this so far. This is this is pretty cool. And this is probably No wait, this is the second biggest castle I've ever designed. I've done I've done one bigger one, although I never finished that one because it was a hundred it was a hundred by a hundred. No, it's 150 by 150. And, uh... That was way too big scale for me. I even had someone helping me with it, and we could not get through it. Like, this build is massive, and it's a 15 by 10 on all those little increments. So, these things take some time. But, we're getting there. And once we finish stage one... Stage 2 should be a piece of cake. Stage 3 is probably going to be the hardest. But, let's hop right back into it. Okay, so, as I was saying, back before I cut myself off, you want a lot of variation in these things. You don't want them to be generic. 
but I have to get past the planning stage now because now we're in the building stage. And I started the building stage by doing an exterior wall. One big thing I like to do with castles is I always like to have an exterior wall because it makes them feel secluded and separate from the rest, which makes them feel more grand and ultimately just more, just kind of better. I don't know. I, I just like it. It's just something. But another here's the big thing with the building phase. This is not the detailing phase. Some people do them together, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm doing them separate. When you build, you just want the block palette, and you just want it to be kind of follow the outline that you've made. You don't want to do anything too crazy yet. You want to wait for the more crazy details when you actually get to detailing. Now, here's a big thing with big structures. Castles are big structures. So, you, uh, gradients. That, that's where I was going with this. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, the ca a castle's a big structure, so you want to have a lot of variation in color. You don't want it to be one big solid brick. It just, it won't look right. So, what I'm doing here is I'm creating a gradient going from dark to light. And once I get to the second layer of build the building stage, you'll see that I made it even lighter. And it's just going to keep getting lighter up until the top, where we use the green roof for a final pop of color. Now, I'm running out of time in this voiceover, but I, it's, this is detailing without detailing. This is the basics that you need to do before you get to the detailing stage. And this is what makes a castle stand out. So, I'll be back in one second. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've got the first bit done, and now this might not seem like much to bring you guys back in, but the reason I'm bringing you back in is because I don't have long in this video, and we're not even close to being finished. So, now that you've seen me do one side, I'm just going to cut ahead till I have the other sides done. Okay hey guys, through the magic of editing, layer one of step two. Two is finished. I've built up all the sides, and I think it's about time I go back into my editing software again and see how long this video's getting. Because you know, I don't typically make my videos longer than 18 minutes, and I feel like this one's already cutting it close, and we're not even close to being done. So, uh, yeah, time to go check on that. I'll be right back. And when I get back, I'm going to be going straight into the next time lapse. Okay, so now I'm adding an outline that exchanges the depth further out so that we have more of a kind of sh new base for the new colors. Because I'm going to start making it lighter from here up. Once again, castles just, they need this, but they basically need to have a strong foundation, then they can be aesthetic as well, but they need to have a strong foundation and then some centerpiece. Like you want to draw the eyes to the center in a castle or towards some of the towers. You just want to draw your eyes up. So what I'm doing right now is, this is more obscure, most castles won't have this, but I'm adding pillars that hold up the second layer, which is why I really think I messed up and went a bit too eccentric. I feel like for a normal tutorial, I should have just gone for your basic medieval castle, which is why, again, I think I am going to do another one of these. But, and I don't really know how to explain this in a generic way, but hopefully the me coming up does, because i got to stop. Okay, so even less progress between breaks, but through the power of editing, all the pillars will be done by the time we get back. So three, two, one. Okay, guys, now all the inner pillars are done, but we have these outer pillars. And uh, because I don't think this will take too long, 
I'm gonna do these right here, right now. So let's first create a base for these. Here we go. Now we're gonna do something along these lines. Okay. And now we get to start doing this. But we're actually going to bring this up a bit because this one needs to be considerably larger. And we're going to have it sprawl out like this. And then go up like so. And we'll deal with the top in a little bit. But now that you've seen me make one, I'm going to go and do this. For all of them, and I'll probably add more detail later, but this is what we got for now. Okay, so we're back to the gradient, but this time we're doing a lighter gradient. Like I said, I wanted it to be lighter, but there's more to it. And you see, I actually stopped myself from doing right what I did right there, because that would have fallen more under detailing and would have taken more time. Because building should be... The phases should go in length of, like, the, the further they are in the phases, the longer it should take. Like, planning should be the shortest. Then we have building, which is the second, the second longest, or, and second shortest, because there's only three. Uh, and then we have detailing, which should take the longest, because it's a bunch of small details, so you really have to focus. Now, I don't do much in this video because I ran out of time, so there will need to be a part two, and I hope that this video helped, even though it was a bit sporadic and didn't really cover a basic medieval castle. I'll probably do another one with a basic medieval castle. And, well, let's get back to me. Again. Along this video hat is by now but i know it's over the top i bit off more than i can chew i'm gonna admit that and this video is gonna have to go into two pieces but i am actually really liking the way this is coming out like from this angle this thing looks crazy good i i think I think with part two, this thing's going to look epic, and I might have to do another more generic how to build a castle video, because this one is, I'll be honest, a bit obscure and a bit abstract, but I'm really excited for part two. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.